Good morning, folks. We've been watching a plasma filament dancing in down south, and if it had survived its turn round the limb, it would have been an Earth-directed eruption threat. Alas, most of the day yesterday, the filament was slowly destabilizing, lifting, and releasing. The CME is unlikely to make a space weather impact on Earth, but Mercury is getting tagged for sure. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we're looking at the last 24 hours of our star to find another relatively calm day, but for some pops up north with the now outgoing sunspots. No significant CME associated. The solar flaring succumbs to the Earth-facing quiet effect, just like the filaments liking to launch in other directions as well, and the sunspots are not mixing one bit. No big flares are expected. We are seeing a bit of a coronal stream in the solar wind telemetry as speed jumps up above average for the first time in days. It's nothing major, so we don't have geomagnetic storms, but other indices like the K and Q are showing the effects of the solar wind change. Well, folks, we're hopeful that the twin 7.6s a few days ago released a lot of the pressure underground, but we can't nod off just yet as that Saturn up top there conjoining today, and just look at the sun in 211 angstroms. Those are some big coronal holes you have there, big guy. Looking at the previous day, though, our top rumble was at the Owen Fracture Zone, significant OLR anomaly in this region, and we can look at the cloud vapor to determine that must have been more than just clouds making the anomaly. Not enough of them, very possibly a positive ion-related simultaneous signal of coupling. In other notes, a rare eastern Canada quake struck along the anomalies running up the Appalachians there. That's the Sandra Earth Spot near Mexico. This is that whole South Asian anomaly zone, massive, and New Zealand coming together two days ahead of forecasted as well. The top shot of the day comes from NASA's Earth Observatory as in just the last two years, the Nishinoshima volcano island has doubled in size. The cold wave hitting the western US and central states has been brutal. Ice storms, snowfall, record cold temperatures in four states, and other absurd headlines. Jeez. Folks, we have a lot going on around here, but the nexus to find everything is suspiciousobservers.org. You can get all our free resources and web pages, our members' material, learn how to attend our conference in January, get our book, and more. We're going to be focused on the top storms near our usual focal locations. We're going to hit the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Please take note of how the polar vortex has now fully matured in the north. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.